In general, you'll want the last part of the scene to be the best. Add lens distortion fix. You should also add a grid. Any grid will do. A grid will help you a great deal, and make this work faster. Lens distortion fix is basically the same as the distort tool built into Final Cut Pro, but resized smaller to make it more convenient to work closer to the image. The original control points are small and hard to see, so color-coded corner accents have been added to make them easier to find. This effect can be used for more than straightening so the corner colors are coded in the following manner. Red is top left, its opposite color, cyan, is bottom right, blue is bottom left, and its opposite, yellow, is top right. Using the grid as a guide, move the corner controls to distort the image lining up vertical and horizontal lines in the image. Set keyframes on the corner points. Move the playhead to the beginning, and fix the scene from there. Try to keep as much as the image inside the frame as possible. If that is not possible, use the scale slider to enlarge the image to remove the gap. Move the playhead to the middle, and set keyframes again. Then move the playhead between the beginning and middle, and keyframe those changes, as necessary. It doesn't matter if all the lines are perfectly aligned, it may not be possible. Focus on the key attractors in the scene. Finish the job by moving the playhead between the middle and end. Make adjustments as necessary. This should be enough to make a nice set of smooth transitions. When you're finished working with Lens Distortion Fix, turn off these visual indicators by unchecking the Highlight Controls option. About fisheye redux, you'll have to use your own judgment with this one. I can only tell you how it works. You have one on-screen control, a center position disc, and a ring that can be resized with mouse control. The effect can help remove curves due to wide-angle lens views, or, it can be used to create all kinds of distortions, against its purpose. The outer ring controls the area of the effect. The scale parameter is how much influence the effect has. Above one, the effect goes toward the middle, or, bulges away from you. Below one, the effect is to bulge the image toward you. Even though there is one control, 
There are two effects. The second one is identical for every setting except it is reflected across the middle of the scene. The two will coincide at the middle. For controlling camera lens distortion, the scale should stay close to one and slightly higher. The scale source parameter is provided to scale the video up. If any distortion pulls the media away from the frame edges, lens distortion fix and fisheye redux can be used together on the same clips. <laughs>